Hey everyone, Professor Baldwin here. I've been getting a lot of questions on how to solve systems of equations graphically. So let's look at this example. Remember when you're solving a system graphically that the easiest way to graph is if your equations are in y equals mx plus b or slope intercept format. So our first step is to rewrite each of these equations so that they're y equals mx plus b, that slope intercept format. So let's start with the first one, minus 4x plus 2y equals 0. So we're going to add 4x to both sides, which brings us to 2y equals 4x. And remember, we need y completely isolated. No negative in front of it, no coefficient, so no number 2 in front of it. So let's divide by 2, and we do that on both sides, and we get the equation y equals 2x. And we can add in the plus 0, because adding 0 doesn't change anything, yet it gives us that intercept to start with when we graph. Now let's look at the second one. The second equation is x minus y equals negative 1. So we're going to subtract x from both sides, and we have negative y equals negative x minus 1. And again, we need y equals, not negative y. So we need to either divide everything by negative 1 or multiply everything by negative 1. So we're changing the signs. So we get y equals x plus 1. Now that we have our two equations, we need to graph them. So remember when you're graphing, you always start with the y-intercept. So our first equation, our y-intercept is 0, or the origin. And then our slope is 2, which is the same as 2 over 1. So we rise by 2, and we run by 1. So we move up 2 and we go right 1. And we can do this a few times in order to get those points. And then we connect our dots to get that straight line. So we have our first line. Now we use the same process for the second. Start with that y-intercept. Here it's 1. And then our slope, there's no number in front of the x, which implies that there's a 1. So a slope of 1 is the same as 1 over 1. Remember, it's rise over run. So we're going up 1 over 1. And we do that a few times so we can actually draw the straight line. And we found that point where they intersected, where they overlapped. And that value is an x of 1 and a y of 2. So we have the ordered pair 1, 2, which is the point of intersection for those two lines. So we have solved this system graphically.